the next topic is multiple inheritance multiple inheritance this means one class derived from deriving from more than one class for example class c being derived from class a and class b like that so let us do an example in this also so let us start from class a class a as usual has uh, one integer data member and associated access functions now let us start class b class b this is also an independent class it has a float data member okay we can have protected here float b then access functions b default constructor then b parameterized constructor float y b is equal to y then show that is the b class so a and b are independent f a has integer variable b has float variable but these two are independent classes not inherited classes now class c where which are going to right now class c is going to inherit bo from both a and b public a comma public b this is how one class can be derived from multiple classes this is called multiple inheritance so this has its own data member that is character and then access functions now c is going to derive both a and b therefore this has to take care of the parent classes also so it will take three parameters integer float and character and here it will call the constructors of a with x b with y and so it uh, class a class b parent classes th their constructors are called with the corresponding values oh sorry this is y and the local variable z is directly filled that is uh, c is equal to z this is how the constructor works so this constructor has called the constructors of a and b to load their values and its own data member c is directly filled with z constructor is over then show to simply display all the three values and line so this is multiple inheritance let us create objects and call so we have class a say r with data 
or not so. Then class B, yes, with only float, independent class, yes dot show. Then class C, T, this derives from both the classes, so you have to give all the three parameters, 10, 20.75 and a dollar. C, T, 10, 20.75, dollar. Then T dot show. Let us compile. <laughs> so, A, independent class, its data is an integer displayed, B also independent class, data is float displayed, C is derived from both A and B and it has all the three data, integer, float and character, they are also displayed. So this is what is called multiple inheritance, that is one, one class derived from uh, more than one classes. In class C, suppose show function is there, here we have directly displayed a, B, C directly because A, B are have protected data members, so C is able to access their data members directly. If required, we can also call their show functions also. That is, this will display its own data member directly and for remaining it will call the data member, the show functions of other classes. For example, A double colon show B show. It will call show of A class and show of B class also directly and then simply display the uh, its, its own data member. Run. Okay, we need to put a data, <coughs> create an object of C say t with all the data 10 comma 275 dollar then call show t dot show run so here it is displaying first a class data then b class data then its own data by calling their respective show functions. This also can be done. Now it is actually an option, but if the A and B classes have, A and B classes have, say, protected data, let us remove the protected. If they have, now it is private data. Even B class has private data, suppose. In this case, now also this works because it can call show functions of A and B because they are public functions. This function works as it is. It will work as it is. Suppose if we want to display as before directly the data members. See out A then B then see direct like this, it's not allowed because A and B are private data members of the class A, class B, so you are not allowed to do so now. So compiler gives error, it says private data and C cannot display directly like this. So in this case, this has to use the show functions of A and B, there is no other option. And we will see one more aspect of it. For this, let us uh, display messages in the constructors. For example, in the constructor of A, let us display a message. It 
ये डिफॉल्ट कंस्ट्रक्टर कॉल्ड सो व्हेन द डिफॉल्ट कंस्ट्रक्टर इज कॉल्ड दिस मैसेज इज डिस्प्लेड एंड इन द रेगुलर कंस्ट्रक्टर let us display regular constructor called a parameterized a parameterized constructor call uh -huh. so in class a Uh, in the constructors we have displayed messages when default constructor default constructor call uh, parameter constructor parameter constructor is called like that we will display messages for other classes also <coughs> class b change the name to b class c change the name to class c let us go to parameterized constructor this is parameter constructor of b change it to b similarly c also now suppose i create class a object r with 10 data or i won't create anything simply uh, i created class a object without any parameters now default constructor is called automatically so run and see now in main i create an object of a without any arguments so now default constructor of a is called run and see a default constructor call suppose i give some arguments say 25 i give argument 25 run a parameter is constructor call so what happened here is so when we create an object without parameters the default constructor which doesn't take any arguments this is called and when you uh, create object with parameters that is this integer parameter this constructor is called so this display this uh, message is displayed now let us take b b class object suppose let it be b 
B get cleared? Yes. Again, no parameters. I simply created B, yes, without any parameters. Run. So B default constructor is called. Default constructor means constructor without any parameters. This is class B. This is the default constructor without any parameters. So when you create an object without any parameters, this constructor is called. Now we are going to create uh, an, an object with float value. This construct is going to come. The message will be B parameter is constructor is called. So I am going to create it with a float. So I am not calling any function, simply creating the object. So construct is automatically invoked. So now B parameter constructor is called. Similarly, C. C, T. No parameters. So what happened here? I created C object. This has automatically invoked default constructor of A and default constructor of B and then call its own default constructor. So C has been derived from A and B. So before calling its own constructor, it has called the its parent class constructors. So when I say when I uh, create an object without any parameters, it has to call its own default constructor. But before that, it has to call the default constructors of its parent classes, that is A and B. That is what is happening. First A default constructor called, then B default constructor is called, then its own default constructor C is called. Suppose parameters. I give parameters 10, 20.75 and dollar character. I simply created the object, that's all, I didn't do anything, I didn't call any functions. Now this has to call its own, the class C parameterized constructor, but before that it has to call A and B parameterized constructors. So class A parameter constructor first it calls, then class B parameter constructor first it calls, then class C parameter constructor. So since you derived from other classes, it has to call other constructors also before its own constructor. And you can see the order here. First class A, then class B, after that cl its own constructor. First parent class constructors, then this. And parent class constructors also see the order, first A and then B. Why first A and then B? Why not B and A? Because here you can see class C, public A, then public B. See the order, first public A, then public B. So in the same order, the constructors are also called. Suppose I reverse it, it hardly makes any difference here. So suppose this B, then A, then run. So first it says B parameter constructor is called, then A parameter constructor is called. After that as well, C also will come. So the order in which the constructors of the parent classes are called is the same order in which that is specified in the class definition itself. In which order it is derived, same order the constructors are also called. 